is the thing I want to talk about. This this whole idea of protection. Because it always comes back up. When you disregard my other, my provision, when you disregard my word, when you disregard my leadership, you are automatically, authority. by default, my authority, you are automatically, by default, shunning my protection. I am no longer obligated to protect you because you are not holding up your end of the bargain. That's Facts. what nobody ever talks about. Do not matters. put a baby in this woman. That's where you guys come in at. If you have a woman that's out of pocket and crazy, look, I... I may be in my 40s, but I wasn't always in my 40s. I understand the principle. Crazy in the head, crazy in bed. Hey guys, we are back with another video. Enough said, meet the Simmons. Today we have a video regarding actor Wend Wendell Pierce. You may know him as one of the detectives from The Wire, my show, The Wire. But before we talk about that, we want to say thank you. We hit 500 subscribers. Ooh, ooh. To some people, that may be nothing, but for us, it is a long, has been a long road, and we thank <laughs> you for for those who have been there with us from day one. If you watch the video. I want you to watch the man in the video. All right, here we go. Quite embarrassing. Quite embarrassing. Here's my issue with this. Is you have a wow. an actor, a black male actor, a black female, and another black male. <clears throat> and we could pretend that their that their race doesn't matter and that that that, that would have happened if there was any other actor on the stage. I don't believe that. I don't believe it. And I'll tell you why I don't believe it. Because there is a low level hatred, and I don't use that word like that word lightly, between the male and female of our race, and nobody likes to talk about it. Yep. There's a there's disregard and disrespect on both sides for each other. I don't believe that if that was what's his name Matthew McConaughey Matthew or McConaughey or on that stage that that would have went down. Matt like Damon. That. I don't think it would have went down like that. Mm -mm. And I talked about in the past, we, we both talked about in the past, how it's important that your woman respects you. Mm -hmm. That woman, whether it be wife, girlfriend, sister, I don't know who she is, to that man, the other, the other man, she has no respect for him. Mm -mm. Because it wasn't even about Wendell. Because he's going to move on with his life, he's going to get paid and go on. This other man has himself in a situation with a person who doesn't respect him, and he's got somehow better brunt of this thing here. Mm -hmm. Because at the end of the day, they're going to give her a pass. Mm -hmm. She was drunk. She's emotional. She has some kind of mental break. They're, all, they're going to throw out mm -hmm. all the tropes for her. But he is not going to get the pass. He more than likely paid the money for those tickets. And I guarantee you those tickets weren't cheap. Now, as a woman, what did you think watching that? I was so embarrassed. So embarrassed. And my thought was whatever whatever she walked in with that had nothing to do with the performance whether she was drunk or not that had nothing to do with the performance that Wendell was giving and even all the other patrons that were there paid their hard-earned money mm -hmm. to watch a performance to be relaxed and to enjoy a bit of theater and she ruined it not only for herself but for her significant other and for everyone around she's super selfish 
Um, if you're not in the right headspace, don't even put yourself in that situation. But I just, I'm embarrassed. And what really ticks me off is that then you'll have, you'll, you'll have something like that. You'll go down in the comments. Yeah, girl, she was, she probably just had a rough time. We don't know what that sis is going through. That sister code crap. I am so over it. I am mm -hmm. so over it. We make excuse after excuse for deplorable behavior. And then we're just supposed to turn a blind eye. Now, let me add this. If that was the reverse him, the brother, her man that was with her, drunk and acting a fool, it would have been security. Er, he'd have been out. Why well, do we go a step further? If it was the brother acting a fool and Taraji P. Henson was on the stage mm. or Angela Bassett was on the yeah. stage, oh, protect us. Y'all don't see y'all yeah. respect us. Y'all don't protect us. Yada, yada, yada. Which leads us to my next point. There, there, There's this defiance in us that nobody likes to talk about. Here in Houston, we're in Texas, in Houston, the turkey leg hood. Turkey leg hood. They came up lady. with they came up with a dress code policy because people were coming there dressed too inappropriately. So this woman, this sister, takes it upon herself to walk through turkey turkey leg hut, butterball naked, just to defy that. Wasn't even long before that there there was a lot of news where this 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 black black man had opened up a restaurant, a high end restaurant, somewhere here in Texas. I think mm -hmm. I can't remember where it was. And the sisters in there twerking, twerking on his on the table. twerking on his table on his furniture. Mm -hmm. He comes out, you know, gets like, "Hey, get out! Y'all can get out if y'all gonna act like that." And now all of a sudden, he's wrong for for having a standard. There is no standard of behavior in our community amongst our women and or our men. But it's especially bad with our women because we tend to the black community is, is a matriarchy. But it's it's deplorable that this behavior is okay. And uh, Wendell actually offered to personally give them their money back. And still that wasn't enough because I gotta be defiant. I gotta make a spectacle of myself. And there are gonna be people that are gonna go down and watch the video, go in the comments, well, it's just a one-off. It's not a one-off. We gotta stop this. It happens, it happens every much. day. I've seen it, you've seen it, we've seen it throughout our lives. Any black man, any black person watching this, this video can think of 10, 15, 20 different instances where something like this happened with one of us. So I'm tired of that little excuse that everybody gives with it's just a one-off. She had a bad day. Mental illness. No, this is a problem throughout our entire community. And until we and less than until we address it, it's gonna continue to happen. My message to you today, men, watching this video, never allow a woman to disrespect you publicly. That had it been me, I'm walking out. After after she see this this is the thing I want to talk about. This this whole idea of protection. Because it always comes back up. When you disregard my other, my provision, when you disregard my word, when you disregard my leadership, you are automatically, authority. by default, my authority, you are automatically, by default, shunning my protection. I am no longer obligated to protect you because you are not holding up your end of the bargain. That's Facts. what nobody ever talks about. Facts. If I'm that man, after she pushed me away and got, and got bucked with me, I'm out the door. Catch you a ride home. I don't care if it's wife, sister, cousin or child once you shun my protection you are no longer under my protection i am not obligated to protect you because you teach people how to treat you and if you keep that beta male crap going then she knows that given another opportunity first of all you if she was liddy or has a mental condition why you knew that there? on the drive there Don't so why are y'all even there Absolutely. that's number one at jump y'all shouldn't even have been there mm -hmm. but since you are there interrupting everything and you know she cray cray. You, I know this ain't the first time. You know she she has a tendency to go off, mm -hmm. especially if she drinks or has a mental issue. So this tells me this probably is not a first time thing. So if you know that about her, quit being selfish. Don't bring out. Uh, we ain't going nowhere till we get this together. We ain't going. Nope. You saying you're behind out. We gonna we gonna watch this movie. Yeah. Let's call it, what's strong to need to be protected? No, nobody's jumping to protect me from anything. Nobody. If I if I'm out in public and I get into an altercation with another man. Nobody's coming to protect me because I was strong does not need to be protected. I am very capable of taking care of myself. So all you women hollering about protection, that right there is keeping you from being protected because I don't protect the strong. Why am I going to, if a dude's bigger than me and he's in a fight, why am I going to protect him? He don't need my protection. If you run around here acting like a whole man mm -hmm. and I'm being nice, I, said, I could say another word. Mm -hmm. Why do you need my protection? That man tried to protect you. He tried to get you out of there and you pushed him away. This doesn't happen in a vacuum. 
And the way we women protect our men is by showing respect. So when you are disrespectful, then you are unprotecting or you are not protecting the one that you love. So that's a challenge that I have for every lady watching this. If you are in a committed relationship and you say you love the man that you're with, like you truly do love the man that you're with, start with showing him utmost respect in mm -hmm. all atmospheres. Especially in public. Especially, especially in, in everywhere, but especially in public. This is the kind of woman, young men, listen to me. This is the kind of woman that will sign you up for a fight, get you shot and killed, and cry over your casket. And when you dead and buried in the ground, it won't be five years later, she'll have another dude just like you. That is the type of woman that the, that's in this video right here. I'm trying to tell you. I'm trying to, I'm trying to explain to you. I've been married for 22 years. I am telling you, you're, the woman you're with matters. She will either make you or break you. That is one, one of the most important decisions you'll make of your entire life. Don't mm -hmm. take this lightly. Let the people in your life that are trustworthy vet the person that you're going to yep. marry or be committed to. It matters. Do matters. not put a baby in this woman. That's where you guys come in at. If you have a woman that's out of pocket and crazy, look, I, I may be in my 40s, but I wasn't always in my 40s. I understand the principle. Crazy in the head, crazy in bed. I get it. Don't put a baby in a woman like this. This is where y'all are making the mistakes at. Y'all y'all putting babies in women like that and you trap, she got you for 18 years and more. Plus. Yep. Because now you got to deal with crazy. You got to deal with crazy because you couldn't control yourself. I'm telling you, young men, listen to me. It ain't worth it. It ain't worth it. There's so much more we can say about this, but for now, yeah. that's enough said. said.